Hey, this is John from Thinka Labs. Let's check out Wacky Wheels, a Circuit Cubes product made by a company called Tenka Labs. Let's uh, pull out the box, all right? And before we open it up, you can obviously look at the package and see what's inside, the parts and pieces, the cubes, the templates, templates to be able to make your uh, car vehicles. So let's just set that aside for now. Okay, so let's flip it open. All right, so inside you're gonna have your three cubes, circuit cubes. Uh, and if you don't recall or understand exactly why they're shaped this way, they're exactly four by four Lego pattern or uh, Lego studs. And they're exactly two Lego bricks tall. And this is the uh, rechargeable battery. It's a lithium ion battery. There is a power switch here, and then you can charge it via micro USB on the side. Then you have your awesome geared motor. So this is a runs about a thousand RPMs, but it's geared down to about oh, 76 RPMs based on this uh, potential uh, voltage of our battery cube. Oh, and by the way, there's a Lego uh, axle uh, compatible shaft on the end of that, and you'll see why that's important. Then of course we have our ultra bright LED um, right there. And then if you've noticed these, uh, they have posts on them. So what are the posts for? Well, the posts are actually for reminiscent of a old type of block where you can actually connect alligator clips to them. We've upped that a little bit. So not only can, let's just turn it on for a second. So not only can I connect it um, like this, right? Um, for the LED, right? But I could also stack them because there's contacts on the bottom, or maybe I could do two of them at once. I could stack the motor on there, so that's spinning, um, and I could actually stack the light if I do it the right orientation, okay? Upside down, whatever you want. All right, let's see what else is in, is in the kit. So inside your little package, you're gonna have your bag of the rest of the parts and pieces. You're going to have a Wacky Wheels booklet, and that gives you a quick start guide and actually some builds, which I'll show you in a little bit. And then underneath here, I have some cool templates. Okay, I have uh, Deep Sea Explorer. I have Monster Truck, Space Rover, whoops, uh, Parade Float, and then design your own. What's that going to be? I don't know. You kind of design it and draw it, see how you like it. So let's set those aside. Okay, so Wacky Wheels booklet. So basically this will get you started. It's a little picture of some kids having fun with it. And then this kind of goes, all right, what are these things? What is the battery? Uh, what is the battery? What is the geared motor? What is the LED? And then we kind of walk you through, how do you connect them? Wires, stacking, et cetera. This will kind of get you started to understand the, the fundamental basics of designing a circuit, how to run the motor, maybe the LED together, maybe you want to do it in series or parallel, which is very interesting and you'll understand why you want to do that. And the rest of the booklet has awesome builds on it. Um, so what's in the bag? So the bag has the rest of the parts and pieces. So let's see, like wires, uh, the Lego compatible parts and pieces. I'm just going to do a little dump out here. Okay, um, there's a little battery quick start guide. So you can say, all right, well, here's all our traditional warning things, blah, 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 don't put it in water, obviously. And then just use your, uh, we provide a cable for you uh, for the micro USB to plug into this. And then the other end goes to your standard uh, USB charger. And then there's parts and pieces. Like I mentioned, these cool little wires. So these have these great little clips on here. So let's say I did wanna do the motor in a different part of the build. So I could connect with the wires. All right, so I'm gonna connect that one. And then of course the wires help you visualize how you complete a circuit. Okay, so I've completed the circuit. Maybe I wanna uh, stack the LED on top of that. So I could still do that. And the power is transferring, oops, came off. The power is transferring through the wires. And then these two are in parallel because we stacked them. Okay, if I were to do that in series, right? they're gonna run slower. So the motor is running much slower and the LED is not as bright because they're all, they're basically drawing on the same uh, current flow versus parallel, which like Christmas lights, if one goes out, they all keep going, except for the one that burned out. And then the rest of the parts and pieces and Lego Technic, uh, these are called uh, brick 
one by Bricklet hole, so one by one stud wide, and then multiply whatever the length is, and then they're brick with holes. And then there's Lego plates, some wheels, some hubs, the axles, parts and pieces. Well, the cool thing with that is in the booklet, you're gonna go through some awesome fun builds. So maybe I wanna make this car. So I basically build the chassis, which is again, all Lego compatible parts. And then I, for this particular one, I just stacked on the motor. So I can turn that on and now that's gonna, whoa, that's gonna cruise pretty fast because the gear ratio is I have the large 24 tooth gear on the smaller eight tooth gear. Now, if you wanna get tricky, you could reverse that, put the 24 tooth gear on the axle and the other one, then you'd have more, it would be slower, but your torque would be higher. And why is that important? Maybe you wanna go up a hill, maybe you have a heavy load to pull. Oh, that's one of them. Uh, this is another one you could build, and all these uh, builds are basically versions of things we put in the booklet so you can experiment with how they connect together. This one is like, all right, let's kind of take that one step further and then add a LED. So the LED is actually connected to this in, in parallel. So you can see that we have some wires going around here so to make sure they're still in parallel. So the speed is still high, uh, high, high speed, low torque, and then the LED is still bright versus in series, okay? Maybe you want to say, wait, I want to make a trike like with three wheels. How do I do that? So we kind of walk you through that. And this one, I happen to add the light as well. So I can turn that on. And then basically I'm going to have, again, now I'm a three-wheeler. And it's still just as fast. Okay, we'll set that aside. Maybe you want to go, okay, I want to do something kooky. I want to have this spin around and then the light turn on. So that's just... Like, okay, I don't know what that is, but it's awesome because I'm gonna do it. Maybe I wanna add some pens on the end and draw some light circles. Um, of course, you can add any of your own Lego parts and pieces or maker stuff. Maybe I wanna take the car and say, maybe I wanna make a rock tumbler. So how do I do that? Well, I just kind of made a car chassis. I shortened up the wheelbase and now I just put a plate on it. And let's say I would just turn that on, turn that upside down. I would put my little rock tumbler in there and let it go round and round. and smooth or a peanut butter mixer or someone mentioned which I think is pretty cute okay and then maybe I'm just getting really kooky and I just want some spinny thing that spins uh, goes fast whoa and has a little light on the top of it so we don't want to dictate your bills but the bills in the book basically get you started so you understand how they um, interact with each other how they attach to Legos the difference between uh, the eight gear and the 24 tooth gear and how that gives you more torque or more speed. Um, then of course the templates and parts and pieces. So hey, check out uh, uh, tankalabs.com or circuitcubes.com for more fun builds. And then eventually we'll have a portal so you can upload your builds and give us some great ideas and share it with your community. Thanks a lot.